In today's video, I'm going to show you where all the air tanks are on my Prevo, and then we're going to drain them. I've gotten a couple of requests to add in some more basic preventative maintenance videos into the channel, and so this is one of those ones that is important to do and very often overlooked. On any vehicle that has an air system, you're going to have at least one air tank, usually multiples. My Prevo takes the cake with 12 air tanks total and 14 separate drain points that you have to address. How frequently sh should you be doing this? According to Prevo, the number is every 12 months or 12,500 miles. That's 20,000 kilometers if you are not used to freedom units. And the reason that you want to do this is the same as, what you, as for an air compressor that you might have in your shop or your garage. When you compress air, then you end up getting water that will, that's in the air that will accumulate in the tanks. You don't want that for a couple of reasons. The first one being that you don't want that water to ultimately take up the area within the tanks, potentially freeze and cause problems. You don't want water in your air system because that can get into the various air-driven components and freeze up and cause problems. That's something that causes issues for truckers and bus drivers uh, during a lot of winters. And you also don't want to have the water potentially freeze up and break your tanks if you let it get really, really bad. On most vehicles that have an air system, the air compressor is engine driven. And so one thing that can happen is that you can also get oil passing through the compressor into the rest of the air system. So therefore, the other reason why you want to drain your tanks is to get any potential oil residue that might be out. And that can also alert you to a problem if you need to change your air compressor. Before we get started, I'll make a couple of notes. You don't actually need to have all of your wheels and tires removed. I just happen to have them removed anyway because of some other work I'm doing. And that made this a really easy time to go through and drain all of the tanks. You certainly should do it every time you've got your wheels off just because it's easy, but if you're just wanting to do this and you aren't specifically planning for it, you don't need to take the wheels off. But there are two things that I do want to point out. The first one is you need to have air in your air springs because several of the tanks are what are called expansion tanks and those tanks uh, share air volume with the air springs. In other words, whatever the pressure is within the air spring, it's gonna be the same in the tank. So if your bus has been sitting for a while and the air springs have lost all of their air, then you won't be able to effectively drain those expansion tanks. And for the same reason, you also wanna make sure that at the very least you have your bus supported either by jack stands or blocks of wood or whatever you happen to have. Because when you open up the expansion tanks, you're going to be letting out air from the air springs, and that means that if you do not have anything supporting the bus, it could come down on you. If you do have your wheels in place, you can still reach these drain points, but it does mean that your arm could potentially be in a precarious position. So with that, we're going to go through and we're just going to go around the bus and I'm going to show you where all the tanks are. I'm going to tell you what they do and we're going to drain them, see if there's anything in there. All right, we're starting here at the back of the bus. This is on the driver's side. So we're going to start off here with this expansion tank, which you can see why I was uh, saying how it, when you empty this, it's going to impact the air that's in this air spring. So nothing coming out of there, so we're all good. Now we'll move right here on the inside uh, to the inside of this rear air spring. For the drive axle, this is the expansion tank that goes with that. Smart. That's good as well. Not surprised I drained these not too long ago. So now, while we're doing expansion tanks, I'll show you. Here is the expansion tank back here that goes with the uh, forward air spring for the drive axle. Okay, it's also good. Nothing coming out of there. This one is what's called the wet tank. This is the tank that comes off of the air compressor. So this is the one that's the most likely to have oil in it. And when I drained it last time, it did have a significant amount. So let's see. So I said oil, but what I really meant was uh, water and with some level of oil mixed in, and that's what came out of it. So you can see that that 
is pretty significant. I may actually need to replace the air compressor on my engine. It's possible that it's passing oil. Uh, and that let out enough air that I'm probably going to have to go through and refill it. But let's keep on going around the bus for now. All right, so now we're up here, and this drain here is for the air the expansion tank for the driver's side uh, front air spring. Now let's drain this one. That one's good. You see that there's two tanks up here, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. This is the main uh, front air tank. And let's drain this down here. Little bit came out of that to start, but then that was it. And then before we go around to the other side, don't forget about your accessory air filter right here. This has a little drain. And then now we're over here on the passenger side, and that's the drain for the expansion tank for this uh, passenger side front air spring. So, that one's good. This is the other large tank uh, up front, which I believe is the tank for the accessory air. Get this one drained. So now we're uh, at the passenger side rear of the bus and have the same as what we had at the start. So drive axle, forward air spring, here's the expansion tank for it. Make sure that you get those closed all the way. This is the primary rear air tank. So this is, so while the one on the other side was straight off of the air compressor before the air dryer. This one is after the air dryer. You can see what a big difference there was between the uh, one on the other side that left that giant mess and nothing came out of this one. And so then now, here, expansion tank for the rear drive axle air spring. Not much coming out of there. Expansion tank for the tag axle. Nothing out of that. You can see there's not much air pressure in those now. And then lastly, back here, and I may actually have to put some more air in to get this to drain at all. So this is the service airport so you can actually so if you are wanting to fill up the air in the bus before you start the engine like uh, to make it easier to get out of the shop without running the engine for a while you can fill here but then if when you open this valve you can also drain out of here so let's see if this gets anything out you can see there's a little bit but i think this is shared with that primary tank that is pretty much out of air. So I'm gonna refill this, get some more uh, air pressure in it, and then we're gonna drain this again, and we're gonna go drain that primary tank again. All right, let's see if anything comes out now. All right, that one's coming out dry. Let's uh, go drain that wet tank a little bit more, try to get the rest of everything out. All right, now we're back here again. Gonna try to drain some more out. Not really anything else new coming out, so I guess we did actually get it all out the first time, but best just to make sure because anything that you can get out of this tank isn't going to end up trying to go up and clog your air dryer or anything like that.
I hope you found this video useful. Draining the air tanks is really simple to do, but it's one of those things that does oftentimes get overlooked and it is an important preventative maintenance item to do. There's no reason why you can't do it yourself. It's definitely not something that requires any tools whatsoever. The only thing I would recommend is having some rubber gloves and some shop towels or something to catch any messes from residue that may come out of the air tanks when you drain them. Let me know down in the comments any questions you have, as well as if you liked this video, if you'd like to see more things like this, if there's any preventative maintenance or other item that you'd like to see in particular. And as always, thanks for watching.